Hi there. I thought I would share with you this project I'm working on. It is all fabrics from traditional pieces of wool strips to torn cotton, t-shirt material. And what I'm doing here on the edge is a crocheted edge. And I was just about to change colors, so I thought I would give you a, a quick little video here. I'm gonna finish it off with this cotton jersey that I've loved to work with. So I'm working from the front side. Hope you can see that okay. To add another color, I'm just going to pick up the loop and bring it through these two. What's kind of nice is that when you start, you can really adjust everything. And then what I'm going to do is hide these tails on the back. I go in from the front here. Now you can see the back. I'm going to pick up the loop. Yep. Make sure I've got everything tucked in there. Grab the loop like that and on the front. So here I can give a little tug to that first piece. So now I've got about a little half inch pull up. I'm going to grab the cording again and pull it through. So it's a really simple single crochet. You can do it with pretty much any size hook. I happen to be using an F, which is a seven point or five, no, yeah, 3.75 millimeter. So again, you go in from the front next to that last one, out the back side, grab your loop, pull it to the front, make any adjustments like here, I can fill in the gap a little bit there. Now all I do is grab it again, pull it through both loops. And I'm just gonna keep on going, hopefully, you can get a good look at this. Whoop. Again, through the front, pick up the loop, bring it to the front, adjust, grab it again, pull it through both loops. In, grab, adjust, bring it through both loops. And sometimes you have to grab it again. When I get to the corner, what I like to do is I add just a single pull through to make the corner square. If you don't do that, you'll end up with a rounded corner, which has its merits, right? Fly visitor. So pull it up, grab, pull it through both. And this will work with, as I said, I've used wool strips. Here's some more t-shirt yarn, and here are my cut pieces. Some of these I did a single, some of them I attached as if you were doing a rag rug. You can look that up on YouTube, it's pretty simple. So you can see that all my ends are sort of covered up here. This one I'll just tuck in a little bit more. And this one, since I've done about an inch, I don't really need to carry that along anymore. So I'll give that a little snip. And that keeps the back from being too bulky. In the front, out the back. Pick up a loop. Pull the loop through. It would work beautifully with rug yarn. Um, you know, I'm using small pieces. It would be nice to do, because I wanted to have all the different sort of materials that I used in the rug 
on the edge. But I could see working off a ball of yarn would be great because then you wouldn't have to keep changing colors. So as I come to the corner here, what I like to do is I'll put in one right here so it's level and I will do that complete loop. And now what I will do is just do one and pull it through. Do one more, complete through the two. Do one single little pickup loop. And now I'm just about turning the corner. And one more. Pull it through and to finish it I will tuck this through there but you can see how nicely the corner comes out pretty square when you add that extra little stitch in. Hope that inspires you. Have fun. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.